vocal steam inhaler versus nebulizer. Are you wondering which one is better for your voice? In this video I am comparing my Maybe steam inhaler and mesh nebulizer. Stay tuned to find out which one I prefer to use and why. Hi, I'm Katrina, speech-language pathologist from How to Improve Singing and here on this channel I share practical tips about using your voice in a healthy way. So, if this is a topic that interests you, consider subscribing to this channel and hitting that bell notification icon so that you don't miss any of my videos. In January 2019, I posted a video about my favorite steam inhaler. Since then, I have been receiving questions about vocal steamers and nebulizers. What is the difference? Do you recommend nebulizers for singers and voice users? So, I decided to test a nebulizer and in this video I am going to tell you what I think. But first, let me give you an update on my favorite steam inhaler Mavis. As I was preparing for this video, I noticed that the price I quoted in the original video went up. I bought my personal steamer in December 2018 and it cost me 50 Canadian dollars, which at that time translated into about 30 US dollars. Today the same steam inhaler costs almost 70 Canadian dollars. At the current exchange rate that comes to about 50 to 55 US dollars. I also noticed that maybe steam inhaler is no longer available for purchase on the US Amazon website. You can still buy it on the Canadian Amazon site and you can also buy it on the Walmart website. So things have changed in one year. If you haven't seen that video, you can watch it right after this one. I will link to it at the end of the video. In that video, I am talking about the benefits of steaming your voice and I also share a little trick that gives you even more steam from this machine. Now, let's talk about nebulizers. I bought mine from Amazon.ca and at the time of a purchase, it cost almost 46 Canadian dollars, which translates to about 35 US dollars. As you can see on the Amazon side, it has a crazy name, portable mini humidifier machine, handheld travel steam compressor, vaporizers, cool mist kits for adults and kids. But in reality, it is a mesh nebulizer as you can see on the packaging. I opted for this one because it was one of the cheaper nebulizers, but it also seemed to be widely available at the same time. So, what is a nebulizer? A nebulizer is a machine that turns liquids into mist. Nebulizers are mainly used for administration of medication in the form of mist for condition like, conditions like asthma, allergies and other respiratory illnesses. But recently, singers and professional voice users started to take advantage of this little machine too. Therefore, there are only a handful of studies examining the effectiveness of nebulizers for voice. Compared to steam inhalers, which produce warm steam, nebulizers uh, create cool mist uh, made of much smaller particles. It means that the mist is easily inhaled into the lungs. One uh, might think that it also means better hydration but uh, we have no research studies to confirm that yet. The size of the particles, however, can be a double-edged sword. Uh, small particles can really get down to your lungs and cause trouble if these particles are harm harmful. Therefore, it is recommended that you use sterile water or sterile saline water with nebulizers to avoid infection of the lungs. Don't use homemade solutions. Stick to sterile products. So take that into account when deciding about using nebulizers. 
Now, should you use sterile water or sterile saline water? There is one study that compared the use of sterile water and sterile saline water and the results showed that only saline solution had positive effects on the subject's perceived vocal effort. This means that only subjects who use saline water in their nebulizer experienced relief from dryness. Therefore, it is recommended that you use 0.9% isotonic saline water, 0.9%, not more, not less, sterile isotonic saline water. So what do I think about this particular nebulizer? Here are three things that I like about this nebulizer. Number one, it's small, compact and lightweight. This is a no-brainer if you compare compare it to the maybe steam inhaler. Great size for traveling or moving around. Number two, the price is right, or at least right now. The price of this nebulizer is better than the price of a steam inhaler. Number three, it's battery operated. This is a huge advantage because you don't need to be close to an electric outlet so you can really use it on the go but the battery life is quite short as the machine uses a lot of power. Now, here are my three main complaints about the nebulizer. Number one, as I explained earlier, it is recommended to use sterile saline water. It took me quite a while to find it because not every pharmacy carries it. You can buy sterile saline water on Amazon, but it costs almost as much as the device itself. So I wasn't willing to do that. I went to several pharmacies until I found this little guy. And for nebulizers, you really need a very small amount of liquid, less than eight milliliters. So it's a pain to find it, but once you have it, you are good to go. Number two. It is important to keep the device clean because you don't want bacteria or other unwanted particles to enter your lungs. So the device has to be cleaned after each use. The disinfection uh, procedure is not complicated, but it is something that has to be done. You need to let all the parts dry well to prevent mold. And the number three is my personal preference and you may not agree with me on this one. The mist is cold, which some people may view as an advantage. You definitely won't burn yourself. But for me, it also means less satisfaction when I inhale the mist. I really enjoy the warm steam from a steam inhaler. I like the warmth. It feels like you are in a spa or sauna. I personally feel more hydrated when I inhale steam. But again, this is my personal opinion. So what is my verdict? I will stick to my steam inhaler for use on a regular basis. It just gives me more satisfaction. Yes, it is much bigger and right now it costs more, but I really like the warm steam. I may take the small nebulizer with me when I travel. I guess it all comes down to a personal preference. So what about you? Do you use a nebulizer or a steam inhaler? Which one do you like and why? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a like and check out my other videos right here below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.